Hey folks, this is Riverwind from Alaska. Anyway, I wanted to catch up with you on a few things I'm working with. Uh, I've been trying to finish my potato garden, log garden. And uh, I dug it pretty deep because the water level is getting higher around here because of all the mining they're doing up above me. Anyway, so this is the second layer of sticks and stuff I put in. And... Uh, as you can see, I got them all lined up. I want it to be kind of level. And now I'm putting uh, some uh, straw with some chicken manure in it from one of my neighbors. Got some great neighbors around here. Anyway, that's what's going on. But tell you what, it's quite a process, especially when you're doing everything yourself. You can see my valerian root is going to seed, and I'll tell you, these flowers smell unbelievably delicious. Oh my gosh, it's just like having the greatest scent in the air around here. See my calendula is taking off. Everything you're seeing here, most, well, most of this stuff is uh, from uh, this year, uh, a lot from seed. Got peppers in here and got uh, comfrey over here and and lavender and kale and and uh, some wild lettuce here. I, some of this stuff is going to be temporary. Got some empty beds here, but they will be filled up today with some plants here that are finally the seeds fine. <laughs> Tell you what, you're going to do herbs in Alaska, you got to start them in March. Anyway, I got a bunch of these that are going to go in there. And some of them I'm just going to put in these 5x5 these five five little plastic things. I don't like things in plastic, but right now I don't want everything to die. So anyway, once these are filled up, I will be dropping these in these bricks. But I got to redo these bricks. Along here, the land is always shifting and moving and want to do things right for the year after the year. As you can see, my garden is just kicking butt. I'm putting biodynamic soil in it, EM1 in it. Things are just looking great. I really didn't want all this bok choy going to seed and it is thick, thick, thick. And I'll tell you what. Mm. I have never had bok choy this sweet and this delicious and thick. I'm really, really kicking butt with the minerals and soil and stuff I put here. I'm letting a few things go the seed. So I can start getting the seeds from this area. For next year's planting. Made a little mistake and put too much nitrogen in the form of a lime in here and my poor apple tree is not looking good. And you can see most of these leaves around here are from the crab apple root that it's attached to so I could graft apples to it next year. These here are black currants and as you can see they are looking really really good. And they grow, most of these grow wild. I transplant them when I have them in an area that's not looking good. Peas are coming out slowly but surely, but I sure like these flowers. Going to be working my pond next month when I get some family members coming up here to help me out for a while. Because it's really, really difficult to take some of these heavy rocks. Climb down there, see man to man, and do that. So, next few days I'll be out there rock hunting and getting more rocks and preparing for their mid September arrival. Boy, this apple tree is looking really good though. But, no apples yet, and this is the third year. Here's some of this crab apple stock here coming from way before, below the grafting. Going to have to take that off or graft it next year. 
And tell you what, these cabbages are looking unbelievable. I mean, just in a few days, they've almost doubled in size. So, by mid-September, they should be looking really, really good. Anyway, a lot of work, folks. You cannot live in Alaska in the wilderness. Think you're going to be okay if you're lazy or if you got a bad back. I do my yoga every morning, mostly because I need to. <laughs> Plus, in fact, I know how I'm going to feel if I am not doing yoga. Oh my gosh, you got to stretch out your muscles and everything you do every day. Lots and lots and lots of heavy work. I got a few trees I got to be taken down in the next day or two before I get uh, gravel brought in here. And the guy just started running gravel on our road today. The road's been not real good. A lot of um, what's called the, like permafrost boils coming up on the road. Not real good for driving a heavy truck with gravel in it. So anyway, fortunately, I'm able to trade massage with the guy's wife for gravel. And uh, but I need like twice as much this year to really start catching up. So hopefully he'll come in more than the one time he's already come in. Anyway, this is Riverwind signing off. Have a great day. Woohoo!